trying to stay warm this winter? Well, the Real Housewives of Miami are heating things up in the Magic City. The hit show is back for season five with no shortage of drama, milestones, and support for one another. Take a look. Honestly, maybe something, something happened. going on with her. Hey guys. By the way, watch your I have a lot going on. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't. We figure. A lot going on. I'm glad Lisa's finally here, but something seems off. All right, I love you. We'll see you there. Love you. Lisa showed up two hours late. There must She's be like a million That's probably a brown star. There must be something going on. I don't know. Oh, and Lisa and Larsa are with us now. Welcome, ladies. Hi. This is so hard to do a reality show when real things are going on in real life. And Lisa, we see you go through a lot this season. So how are you doing? I'm doing better. Every day, you know, every day gets easier. It's been like seven, seven months since... We separated. Yeah, I mean it's nice that you know we we we're watching this as if it's happening. You know yeah. when the season come out comes out, at least you've had some time to process when other people yeah. are seeing it and you have some answers for people. Yeah, but it's still got to be challenging. Yeah, and to see to relive this now with the show coming out. It's definite. It's it's difficult. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm. I will say this on uh, positive on a positive note. I am very happy to see that the two of you are together and uh -huh. getting along. We see you go through a lot of uh, hard times together, and you make an effort to work through some things. I mean, was that something that you thought no matter what, I'm going to make this okay? I feel like relationships are hard sometimes. Yeah. When you're not in a good place, there's like conflict, and you're not happy at home. Yeah. I think that that's kind of what we were going through. Like Lisa was dealing with a lot at home. And I'm glad that we were, it was like a stupid petty fight. It was fight. stupid, like yeah. looking back in hindsight with what's happening to my life now. Yeah. It was such a petty, insignificant fight. Like but I, fueled <clears throat> by outside right. things. Right, other things, right. Other things kind of brought us to that point. Yeah, you know? and, and, and I'm glad that you're both able to, you know, be aware that it's other things factoring in as opposed to yeah. just the two of you. It wasn't just about the mortgage, like that's yeah. so silly. <laughs> yes. like, I got so much, so many DMs, like, what are you talking about? It's, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Things yeah. are good now. <laughs> Things you know, are good. I, I think as long, like, when you have a friendship, and we've been friends for so long, we've been friends for over 10 years, I think that, like, we love each other, and, like, we're always going to be there for each other, and, like, when Lisa was going through her situation, I feel like I really wanted she to be really there for her, up. and to show her that I love yeah. her, and, yeah. like, put our differences aside, mm -hmm. even though it was, like, not really a big factor, you know, yeah. in the argument, but I just wanted her to know that she has really good friends and yes. that I love you. She was and like you. amazing to me through this whole process and still is. She's always had my back and even after our arguments, she still came through. Yeah, that's it's important yeah. to have kind of that sisterhood, uh, yeah. especially in this kind of we environment. We like sisters too. Totally. Yeah, but yeah. you guys have both been on earlier seasons of the show. Yeah. Do yeah. you think that your approach to how you handle the show has changed over time? Like you come in with a different perspective? I think so. I think when I did um, the first season, I think like I was in a whole different mindset. I wasn't as open as I am now. I feel like I was really naive yeah. season one. Yeah. And Fast forward season five, now I feel like I'm, you know, I'm holding people more accountable. Yeah, you know, like I, you're, I, you're a different person. It's been I am so a many years. Person, yeah. Same with me, like I am completely a different person. I have two kids now. Um, I was dancing on tables in like season two and three and like, you know, wilding out, but now. You're changing diapers. Yeah, 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 yeah diapers. things have certainly changed. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the show found a new home on Peacock. Yeah. Are you finding that you're getting a whole new audience watching the show, maybe binging the show and catching up so yeah. that they can see what's going on now? Are different people coming up to you and talking to you about it? Where yeah. I feel like people want more of it. Like, it's like they dropped four episodes and everybody's like, oh my God, when, you know, when's the next one coming out? When is the next yeah. one coming out? Yeah. But it, have you had like a, a, a whole new group of people kind of react to you in a different way or you haven't noticed that yet? Um, I feel like we just had, we've had loyal fans from the beginning yeah. and now the show is becoming bigger and stronger and better than ever. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of, you know, new. It's fun. I was going to say, are you having a good time still? We do. Don't we have the best time? I mean, I know, like, you know, you, you had your situation. Medium. And you're like, yes and no. Let's, let's talk fun. next season. Yeah, let's talk next season. All right. Well, it was nice to see you both, ladies. Thanks for having me. And you can catch uh, The Real Housewives of Miami now on Peacock with, every, with new episodes every Thursday.